And Roger, thank you much. That wind really gusting across parts of Maine, and the power company crews are staying very busy tonight as they work to get those down lines back up and running. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon has been out there tracking the damage from the storm and joining us with the latest right now. Courtney, what are you seeing out where you are? Well, Jim, those high winds are to blame for much of those down power lines we're seeing across the area tonight. Take a look at these power lines behind me. The winds here are calm right now, but just before we were talking to you, they were really fierce and picking up um, those signs behind crashing into the stoplights over there. CMP's website is listing thousands without power tonight as these winds make their way across southern Maine, and we caught up with CMP crews as they were out on a call on Holmes Road in Scarborough. They shut down that road for a time tonight. A tree was on a power line there. They also told us that there were down lines on Running Hill Road and Two Rod Road. According to CMP's website, last time we checked, there were six, more than 6,000 without power in Androscoggin County and more than 1,700 in Cumberland County without power. Now, when we talked to crews in Scarborough, they told us that it was a matter of 15 minutes. They got inundated with phone calls around 7.30 about downed trees. And we just spoke with the state trooper who said there is a snapped power line at Lyman and Kennebunk Town Line at Walker Road that could take three to four hours to clean up. That's what we're seeing across the area tonight. It looks like it's going to be a long night for cleanup crews. Live in Stanish, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.